Hey, hope everybody's doing well. Um, just a quick, um, uh, quick intro here as we start games. Obviously, it'll be a full first first week for us here. Um, we've got uh, some some really uh, diverse style of, of, of play coming at us here in these uh, first stretch of games, uh, starting with the Oakland one. Uh, just some some really good athleticism, different defenses that we won't probably consistently see throughout the year. Um, uh, really, in these first in these first few games, so it's going to be a great test for our guys um, in these first first few uh, games right now. Uh, uh, really, uh, with A and M and Merrimack, um, they just play different styles, different than we typically see. So, uh, it'll be a great test for us to kind of figure some things out. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some some possessions that are a little clunky at times, but. Uh, It'll be a great opportunity for us, and obviously it starts with opening night against Oakland on Monday. So our guys are excited, ready to get started, ready to play and compete against somebody else. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to get rolling here. Chris, uh, just to start off, how healthy are you guys, and have you named the captains yet? Yeah, <clears throat> the captains, we're I'm not ready to, to make that public yet. Um, I think the... Um, as far as the health, there's not there's not a significant update, uh, really no significant changes. Uh, we, we obviously had some guys out uh, for various reasons in in our, our most recent uh, scrimmage, um, but those guys, uh, as uh, you know, that's nothing long term. Those guys are expected to be back. How ready do you sense this team is to to get out and start working off the the feelings from last year, both? Uh, Bruce and Zed talked about that immediately, that like they just want to show people that like they're, you know, things are better and this is going to be a chance to turn the page. Like, How ready do you sense this team is to just get out there and start putting some results in front of people? Yeah, I think they're they're ready for sure. We'll see. We'll see, though. Uh, obviously, time will tell with all that, Adam. Um, that'll, that'll all take care of itself. But uh, I think they're they're more than ready. They're anxious. They're, they're anxious to play somebody else and compete against other competition. Kind of see where they where they stack up. You know that's a pretty fluid process with most teams here, particularly early in the year. But uh, I know they're excited. Uh, yeah, just uh, first off, you know, takeaways from that uh, super, super secret scrimmage over the weekend uh, against Clemson. There. Yeah, no, I think it was it was we got to really look at some different lineups. I think that was kind of the biggest takeaway is is. We played a lineup that we really, in essence, hadn't practiced a whole lot. And some of that was just because we were down a few bodies. Um, and some of that was, hey, this since we're down a few bodies, it gives us a chance to play bigger, to see what that looks like, to get a feel for it. Um, Clemson's a, a good team. Um, so I think it was a really, really positive experience for us. Both, both uh, exhibition slash scrimmage. Uh, I just think the Dayton one was a terrific experience for us, and, and the secret scrimmage was a really, um, really good experience for us. We were talking to Bruce uh, just a minute ago, and one question he got asked was, you know, what he expects the responsibility put on his shoulders as a captain. He, um, among other things, he pointed to winning the Big Ten title, both regular season and tournament. I guess how much of that has been an emphasis for this team? Do you think that's, you know, something realistic for it to achieve? Uh, the emphasis is just to get better. You know, I think everybody has, has goals. The emphasis right now is just to, to get better, um, get better every day, put good days together, stack good days. <coughs> you know, um, certainly there are things that collectively we, we talk about, uh, but it's, it's really the focus is just get better. You know, find a day, a way to put one good day together after another, that's that's the focus. And then what's Devin Royal's progress been um, th throughout this first run up to the season here? Um, he's, you know, he's been hampered by a few kind of minor injuries that have limited him uh, in stretches, but uh, um, he's he's had a good, uh, I think his, his last probably few weeks have been his better uh, few weeks that he's had. He's just got to keep, I think it's going to be a process for all those freshmen. Um, you just got to keep putting good days together. You mentioned the guys being anxious to, to get them play. How anxious are you just to see this this group in a, 
in a real competitive game? Yeah, really anxious, you know, uh, excited and um, ready. You know, college basketball is such a, such a long off season in terms of how much you're doing with your guys from summer. You know, we're going to have upwards of 30 practices before we play our first real game. Um, so it's such a long preseason um, that I think coaches, players, they get to the point where they're just they're ready to see. The exhibition and the scrimmage was good because you get immediate feedback on, hmm, we have to get better in this area. We're pretty good in these things right now. We did these things really well. These things we have to get better in, and that's the real benefit of playing uh, the two teams we played. Would you share a couple of the areas that you already know you need to you need to get better? Rebounding. Yeah, rebounding number one, defensive rebounding. Uh, we were really good on the offensive glass in the last scrimmage. Um, that's got to continue to be good for us. Uh, rebounding. Um, uh, you know, I think that's that's probably number one. Uh, and just being a, a, a team that can uh, can finish plays uh, with really good possessions defensively and offensively. And I think we've got to take care of the ball at a higher level. Um, we're, we're more careless and, and just not careless. I think some of those guys just figuring out what they can and can't do at this level. And some of it is, is us playing together. But uh, our turnover percentage is good needs to be lower. Those two things. But we've done some really, really good things as well. And um, we got to keep doing those things well and then figure out a way to make significant improvement in those two areas. Chris, how deep is the rotation right now? And where do you want it to be right now? There's no real, yeah, no real set rotation uh, right now. I think we have, that, that'll that be pretty fluid and, and evolve. I wouldn't want to put a number on it right now um, because it, it could, you know, some of that depends on who's, you know, who's healthy and um, on a given night. I, I, you know, I don't know that it's going to, I, right now I wouldn't want to put a number on it, but, you know, typically this time of year, maybe you're playing nine, um, and then you trim it down to more closer to eight when you when you get into the stretch of, of the season. Uh, sometimes you might be playing ten on a given night. It just varies. Zed was asked about you know where does he fit in with this team. He said he's not really concerned about that part of it. He's just going to do whatever is asked of him. Have you seen that from him in this off season? Just his recovery and being open to, to all sorts of options. Well, I think he said yeah. Zed's had a good approach and um, a good approach and. Um, you know, I think his, his focus has to just be, obviously, he's healthy now, um, getting better, growing as a player, doing whatever the, his team needs him to do to, to win and help our team win. If that remains his focus, I think he'll, he'll be able to do some really good things for us. Coach, uh, Bruce Thornton was really big for you guys down the stretch of last season, especially in the Big Ten tournament. Uh, how do you think he's developed, uh, not only as a player, but as a leader uh, throughout the course of the last year and then into the summer? Yeah, love Bruce. Love his uh, leadership. Love his um, everyday approach. Um, love everything about the kid. Um, he's everything you want, really, in a, in a Buckeye point guard. Uh, just to be honest, he's everything you really want in an Ohio State point guard. He's tough. He's tough-minded. He cares about winning. He's a good player. He's going to get better, continue to get better in front of our eyes. Um, cares about the right stuff. You know, you want that guy uh, leading your leading your team. And as a sophomore, it's you know he's going to have help leading. It's not just going to be on his shoulders. But uh, you know, excited about his sophomore year. Yeah, and then uh, your assistant coach Mike Kennedy. I know you've been on the staff with him for over twelve years now. Can you describe what your relationship with, with him looks like and what his role within the offense and with assistant coach Dave Gieber looks like? With Mike Netty? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mike's a high energy, really positive, um, tremendous worker. Uh, he's been in this business for a long time. He's got great connections. He's a basketball junkie. He loves, uh, loves basketball, loves college basketball, loves coaching. The art of coaching, and he just brings a lot of really good stuff with the staff. He works uh, a couple of pivotal roles. One is he helps Jake uh, with, with game planning offensively, um, as well as uh, helps us organize special situations, late game situations, all the different scenarios that can come up in the half, end of game, and uh, um, what our um, what our game plan is for that. 
curious about the challenge of preparing for a team that you haven't seen play this year. Yeah. Uh, clearly, Greg Camp is new to college basketball, so you this has to just yeah. here. How do you put together a plan? Yeah, I love Greg. Greg's, uh, Greg's one of the all-time great guys in our our profession. Uh, Greg Campy is a, he's a really good coach. He's won a tremendous number of games. They play, as I mentioned, a unique style. They're really talented, uh, athletic kids who can, who can uh, you know, really uh, impact the game in a lot of different ways. And uh, as always, our focus will, will turn to them as we get as we get closer to game prep. But uh, always been impressed with him and the way he coaches. Uh, he always puts together a very difficult schedule, and uh, he's done a lot for our game. Greg's done a lot for our game, so um, he's uh, he's asked to to come and play here for a number of years, and uh, we were able to finally work it in our schedule. Uh, Chris, you uh, talked earlier about. Ronnie Gale kind of needed to step up to a larger role this year. Um, just like, what did you see from him, I guess, in the scrimmage against Clemson and also like, the last couple weeks? Well, I think um, he had some really good moments against Dayton. Uh, some really good moments against Dayton. I think, we, you know, you saw that. Um, and, uh, he, you know, admittedly, he'll tell you he struggled against Clemson. And uh, that's why I just think it was really good because he was able to, you know, to struggle in an environment where we can really take film and look at look at it and say, okay, this is where, as you are now in a more, you know, bigger role than what you were last year, this is what we need you to do better. I think with Roddy, we all have to understand that there's going to be a process to this and his development and his growth, and he's moving into a larger role. With that's going to come some bumps along the way, but I'm really confident in his approach, his coachability, what his attitude is, and uh, what he can grow into, but it's going to take a it's going to take a minute, and we saw that with a with a little bit of an inconsistent performance the other day, uh, following up a solid performance against Dayton. Uh, I asked about Jameson Battle, uh, his career fourteen points per game over four years, George Washington, Minnesota. How important is it for him to do at least that, if not take another step and? even do more, I suppose. How, 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 how important is it? How much will you guys lean on him, I guess? Well, as you know, that's a really good number in the Big Ten. If you're doing that in the Big Ten, that's a that's that's going to be probably put your top 10 uh, to 15 in the Big Ten in scoring. So um, that's – that's a, he's going to need to score the ball. He also needs to rebound the ball for us effectively. Um, but he needs to – yeah, he needs to be that for us, Steve. Um, and we expect that. Um, he's got the ability to do it. But – uh, again, I, it's it's not like um, you know he's a guy that you, we expect to get. Or we're putting a load on him to get 18 to 20 every night. I don't think that's reasonable. Five days out, I'm going to ask the question: Who's going to start in the first game? I I know full well you're going to say you probably won't decide this till the morning of. I might surprise you, Steve. <laughs> they, 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 maybe you already know. I don't know, but uh, I assume you've got at least a couple that you know for sure will be in yeah. there, and then couple spots that, that are probably neither or. Yeah, I, I think right now, um, you know, I, I think certainly Bruce and, and Jameson are, are guys that uh, um, will be in that. I, I, you know, we'll know more here. We've certainly got an idea as a staff what it's going to look like, Steve, but uh, we're still um, obviously several days away from our first game against Oakland, so uh, we want to <clears throat> want to continue to work here and uh, put in the time and the effort and um, we'll see what that looks like on Monday night. Um, coaches often talk about like in the preseason when you have like, maybe a tough scrimmage or tough exhibition that, that gives you an opportunity to get the team's attention maybe in a way that if you're just reason through the preseason you, you wouldn't. How did your team respond? In the, I know it's only been a few days, but how did your team maybe handle some of the feedback from how the weekend it sounds like it went? What, what did you see from them as far as just absorbing that and and trying to have the right attitude as far as building on it. Yeah, good. Yeah, I thought they I thought they did really good, Adam. Um, I thought they had the, the right approach. And you know, again, you're looking at a. We played a lot of unique lineups in that in that scrimmage, um, given just having a couple guys out. So some of that wasn't stuff that was necessarily on them. You know, like it wasn't it wasn't them. It was just us looking at different lineups, and that impacted the flow of the game. But the stuff that we can control that we've talked about rebounding, um, taking care of the ball at a higher level, at a higher, much higher level than what we did, 
Um, those are things we, we need to correct. And then I know there's a really lengthy answer here, but just kind of in general, like what does it take to put this roster together? I know it's different every year, there's a lot of mechanisms that go into roster building these days, but just putting this roster for this season together, in general, what does it take? Well, it's a lot of, it's, uh, you know, a lot of meetings, honestly, because you want to, in the spring, you're trying to figure out what group is going to fit and uh, do you need to supplement part of your uh, rotation or part of your roster? Do you feel like you have um, returning starters that can compete at the highest level of the Big Ten? And obviously, if you can do that, you're going to compete nationally. If you don't, do you need to add to that? Where are you going to add to that? You know, projecting what the freshman may or may not give, uh, be able to give in a setting like this. So it's a lot of conversation, a lot of meetings in the spring, um, and then it's uh, obviously being aware of who's out there, who fits our program, um, and you know, who of our young guys. This made this a little bit tricky. Who of our young guys do we need to give room to breathe and grow? Um, and yet at the same time, obviously, make sure we're, we're putting a roster together that can compete. Okay. Yeah, one final one out. If you don't mind, just real quick. Just, yep. um, I don't know if it's too early in the preseason to think about some of these it things. It probably is. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were talking about stacking days. Yep. And, and is it too early to tell if this team has been able to stack days? Or is that something that really kind of starts to you figure that out when you're playing games? Yeah, I, we've had some really quality stack days. We really have. We've had some quality stack days, and we've uh, probably went longer <coughs> than what we have in years years past. Um, some of it's just you, you've got to you've got to still have a young team, uh, so it it, it, re it requires that. So I think we probably went as long as we went uh, in a, in a number of years, um, but we really have been able to stack some days. Not every day's been perfect, but we've been able to put some really good days together. Thank you.